Lined up in the dock in Alicante, Spain, seven teams prepare to take on each other and the toughest ocean conditions in the world. Achieving victory in the Volvo Ocean Race will mean racing 45,000 miles over 11 legs, taking in 12 host cities across six continents. For the first 12 hours, it was a drag race through the Mediterranean with around five nautical miles separating the fleet until Vestas 11th Hour Racing made a move and split from the pack and headed inshore. They now led. Team Axel and Nobel were close on their heels and in second spot. For the Dutch team, it was a great result this early in the race, considering they started the leg on the back foot. After a series of controversial changes to the skipper in the weeks leading up to the start, it was Simeon Team Point who finally took control just hours before docking out. However, three of the most experienced crew decided not to race to Lisbon. This left Team Point having to find additional last minute crew. He ended up with just two replacements and they had almost zero hours racing a Volvo Ocean 65. We've been put in a position where we're on the back foot and yeah, I'm wearing someone else's clothes and uh, I've got my old pair of trainers on, which isn't working very well. But um, yeah, no, uh, this bunch of guys, young bunch, you know, we're hungry. Teen Point had the minimum he could race with, but still had a handful of his original crew, including an early signing, the daughter of Brazilian sailing legend, Torben Grail. I think one of the big sailor talents on my crew is uh, Martine Grail. You know, I think she has really proven herself in Olympic sailing with a gold medal last time. And I think she is quite unique, you know, uh, growing up in a family, they have really proven in their life, you know, they can sail on any boat in every, any competition and do very well. And I think, you know, if you grew up in a family like that, it's almost in your DNA. I mean, it's always been something quite big in my life because my dad did two editions and they were both very successful editions. Uh, Kent and I did have the best Bible in the world for a Volvo Ocean race. What my dad did is not going to make me win anything. You got to put effort in for everything and it's not going to come for free. An Olympic campaign is small boats and in the end of the day, like, it's pretty intense racing. And now what I'm taking on in this trip around the world, it's uh, a bit more rough. I'm really cool to be part of this and this group of young guys coming in and this class. 